Hey YouTube, it is your girl here, Tammy C, coming to you with another video. I'm so happy and excited. I'm trying to contain myself. I really can't. This is about the Janet Jackson documentary that just came out January 28th and 29th. I am so excited to give you my version. I grew up you know, following her. I was born in 1970. She was born in 1966. You all see the correlation in my mind. She's like a long time relative. So excuse it, excuse the video if it's a little bit grainy, but once I jump into the PowerPoint, it should smooth out some. So without further ado, let me hit that PowerPoint and get it started. In the words of Zach Levine, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, so I wanna make this a little bit bigger. So you all can see me. Hold on. As well, let's see. Yes, look at me. You all, I'm, I'm getting this technology thing in. All right, Janet, Miss Jackson is you nasty. Let's get started. We are talking about the icon, the legend, the girl from Gary, Indiana, not far from me. I'm outside of Chicago. I'm born and raised on the west side of Chicago. So we grew up, see, I told you she my long lost cousin, long lost relative. We grew up close to each other. And this woman has been through a lot. I know some people like, oh, she was part of a famous family. People think that's just an automatic end. But sometimes when you're part of a famous family, it can be, um, you know, a lot of stress and drama. And also a lot to live up to. She was the baby of the family. So, you know, you can easily get lost in the shuffle. How many times you hear like the baby of the family get strung out on drugs or they get forgotten about, you know, anything could have happened. But they're a close knit family. You could tell they stick together. And I just love the Jackson family. All right, see our little sweetheart, Janet Demita Joe Jackson was born on May 16, 1966. As of 2022, she is 55 years old and she is beyond, beyond fierce. Yes. Um, back in the day, it's like my picture in the way a little bit. We had the Jackson family. Um, they were the Jackson Five. As uh, Michael and Randy got older, they were added in but it consisted of Marlon, Jermaine, Jackie, Tito. If it's five, who am I leaving out? Oh my God. Michael? <laughs> Randy? Marlon, Jermaine, Jackie, Tito, Randy, Marlon, Michael, Janet, Latoya, Reby. I swear I'm leaving out a sibling. I'm sorry, little sibling, if I'm leaving you out. I don't know. Anyway, that is the Jackson family parents, Joe Jackson and mom, Catherine Jackson. And everybody know about Joe Jackson. There are jokes out. But if we really want to get serious, Joe was pretty hard on them with the practicing and just drilling these dance moves and making sure those instruments sound top notch. If you ever watched them perform from the 70s, they never missed a step. They never were out of tune because he drilled that into them to the point where it was damaging. You know, you, you know, you can just do something too much. Too much anything is bad. And if it converts over to abuse or where you're overdoing it, where you're causing shame or pain, that goes on to leave long-standing damage, which you which you could tell. It was some um, there with Michael. We don't hear as much a, about the other brothers, but it was some stuff that went on behind the scenes with those brothers, with marrying the same lady. It was some strange stuff going on if you really look into it. I'm not here for that. I'm here for Janet. But yeah, that, that was her parents. Um, and Joe Jackson passed away. Mr. Jackson, I'm going to say he was my elder. He passed away maybe a couple of years ago from cancer. Mrs. Catherine Jackson is still alive, still beautiful. The oldest sister, the oldest of all the Jackson kids are, she's a Reby who is 70, one or two looking fierce. So they have great genes. I just love, I think their cheekbones are just, ah, oh, the best, the best. Okay. 
our Janet Jackson, by this time, she is probably around 12 or so. And she made it to good times, which I affectionately call bad times because they could never get out of the projects in Chicago. Remember the different uh, episodes where Thelma had Keith, her husband, he was a professional football player, but he had this injury that ended his career. It was another time JJ was going to take off with his artwork and never worked out. Um, Thelma, back in the day, she was going to marry this prince or this king and that never worked. And oh God, I can go on and on. They just could not get out of the projects, but it was called Good Times because no matter what they went through, they always managed to come together in love. So they made the best. They made a lot out of a little. So that was the, the um, what do they say? The, mor the moral to the story. Also, Janet, when she came on there, her mother, who was played by the actress Chip Fields, who in real life is the mom of Kim Fields, Chip Fields was abusive to Penny. That was Janet's name on Good Time. She was the neighbor. And Walona looked at Penny's back and saw all of those burn marks. She had been taking the iron and burning Penny. So she got in trouble, of course. I hope she went to jail. Walona adopted Janet. And that's how Penny became part of Good Times, which I love that show. This was in the 70s that it was out. After that, you would see Janet Jackson looking ever so beautiful on different strokes. This is how she looked on different strokes. She would have her hair flipped. She had a cute shape. And at that time, I was just flat. I, like, I, like I've never had like really boobs, I must admit. So any um, girl that was developed, I would be like, oh my God, is that gonna happen to me? Which <laughs> never happened. But I was just so enamored by her beauty. And I was like, oh, I love Janet Jackson. I love different strokes. I was crushing on tire bridges. And just to see her act, you know, even more mature, it was so cute. This is when the singing started. Woody, young love, a ring around the roses. Young love, searching for a heart so true. That was it. Young love, that was how she looked on her album, simply entitled Janet Jackson. As her documentary stated, she really didn't even want to use her last name. That was one thing with Janet and the Jackson last name. She just wanted to make her own path. And I'm sure being the youngest behind her brothers, having a strict dad, she just wanted to unleash, come out of that shell. If you watch Janet over the years, we just started watching her. She's a very sweet, soft-spoken, humble lady. She carries a big stick. She, she don't take no for an answer. I love that woman. I just love her style. Uh-oh, so sorry. Well, this is where some drama starts in. All a part of that Joe Jackson thing, I think. I'm going to marry James DeBarge at 18. I'm going to go and elope because I'm grown. You know, that's how it is when you have a strict parent. You want to forge your way. A lot of preachers, kids, they'll be rebels because they couldn't do anything. So in that era, this is when she got married. It was short-lived. I think they said 1984 through 85, and it was annulled. You know about the DeVarge family. They had a lot of substance abuse. Their dad was um, abusive as well. And a lot of them went on to do drugs. Um, they, a couple of the siblings have now passed. El DeVar stayed on drugs for a long time. And by God's grace, that man could still sing impeccably, impeccably. Because you remember Whitney Houston, as she did those drugs, she lost her register. And my singers know what I'm talking about, my musicians. When she sang, um, you give good love, I'll always love you, don't matter. Any of those old songs, the register, I mean, those are high songs. I won't even try to sing. Um, I can sing You Give Good Love. You Give Good Love. So that was a high register. Um, then when she did I Look To You, she had to go down. That's much lower because the range was gone. Um, before she passed away a few days, she sang with Kelly Price. No, no register, just gone. I could hear it. And it was heartbreaking. One of my favorite singers ever, Whitney Houston. 
I remember when she first came out. So um, yeah, this is Janet around 84. And this is when she came out with control. I want to live my life. Control. Yeah, this is it. So um, this was Janet's way of saying, I want to live my own life. Mm, 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 mm. I want to make my own decisions when it comes to doing my life, my life. What she say? I want to be the one in control. Oh, boy. She went to a dance break. Oh, good grief. When Janet first came out, she didn't dance much. So when she did Young Love, she only knew that like one step. Young Love. Around the roses, but boy, by the time Paula Abdul got to her, it's over. One thing I think that made Janet for Janet forge ahead was that she is a Taurus, and as you see here, a Taurus is persistent, patient, tough, focused, sensual, realistic, steady, loyal, generous, friendly, loving, reliable, and tenacious. And when I think of Jen, as I was saying those words earlier, I'm like, she definitely is persistent. You could tell she had to be patient to even get her career going the way she did. Is she tough? Heck yeah. Short little thing, but she packs a mean punch. Focus. You know, she's sensual. She's realistic though. Steady. She didn't never give up. Loyal. You know that lady, if she's your friend, she's there to the end. You never hear nobody say nothing bad about her. Oh, she was rude in the interview. Oh, she was a diva. She wanted 50 doves. Don't you like this? Don't you just love hearing those stories about the celebrities that they're like, give me all Reese pieces without the wrappers. I want 50 doves in the corner of my room. Every tile must be white. Nobody look at my, my look me in the eye. And when I hear all this shit, it's just, it trips me out because I'm like, are they for real? Um, yeah, I hope once I hit it big, you never know where you're going to be. Please, God, that's like my prayer. I'm like, Lord, please keep me humble. I don't want to be a jerk or be somebody that's um, unreasonable. Anywho, that's not Janet. Generous, friendly, loving, reliable, tenacious. That is Janet. They said some of these traits, um, the negative side, I suppose, could be stubborn, rigid, jealous, resentful, possessive, spiteful, materialistic, inflexible, lazy. Definitely not lazy. I don't know her intimately. She is stubborn though, if she's a Taurus. And she had to be stubborn to forge her way. Um, I don't know about any of the other stuff, the jealous part. Not my Janet. I don't know who they talk about. But yeah, this is Janet, the control era. Oh, Lord, you are. I didn't even put Rhythm Nation in there. Rhythm Nation came after this, and that was important. How could I skip that? Rhythm Nation. Um, it was an era where she wore it all black and she talked about injustice. Um, yeah, Rhythm Nation was paramount. How could I leave that out? Well, you all know about the Rhythm Nation tour. That was the biggest tour maybe ever. Maybe ever. Still in line with Control, Pleasure Principle. Now, that was my song, you all. I knew every dance move. I did it to the video. I want to be the one. I'm still doing control. Pleasure principle. Ah, oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. I can't do it now, but um, I didn't do the chair scene. I wasn't going to kill myself, but I did pleasure principle. I knew the whole video. That was still part of the control um, era. All black. She had her hair like that, of course. She had the t-shirt that tied up. Oh, love it, love it, classic. So in the midst of all of this or after this, she jumps on the big screen to show you, I can still act with an opposite Tupac. What a great movie. She was a poet. She lost her boyfriend. Um, she went on a road trip with Regina King. Oh, Regina King, Regina, Regina King. Regina King just lost her son, for those of you who don't know. And, um, you just lifting her up, lifting her up. But yes, Poetic Justice, Janet Jackson with Tupac. And Tupac's so silly, God rest his soul. But they were like, was her boyfriend Renee in the audience 
when he would be filming this. And he said, yes. And then they said, you had to kiss her in front of Renee. Yep. And they said, well, what did that do? How does that make you feel? He said, I made sure I kissed her good. I was like, ooh, he was a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, Poetic Justice was, was a beautiful movie. This one, young ladies start wearing those braids. Um, like I said, Regina King, Joe Torrey, Tupac, Q-Tip, Janet Jackson, of course. Let's dive into the complicated love life of the beautiful Janet Jackson. Oh, yes, it was complicated because she was married to James DeBard shortly at the age 18. And then she had Renee. God, I can't pronounce his last name. I didn't really understand that relationship. That was unique. And I think they said they were together 91 through 2000. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. And they said he was controlling. Not shocked about the controlling part. Sometimes when we leave a controlling parent, we go to a controlling spouse or controlling partner. So that kind of made sense. The, the album Janet produced two of my favorites. That's the way love goes. Woo. I like that video, that song, and if. Dun, 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 I can't do that if, but if is one of her best dance moves ever. But yes, yeah, so this is around 93, and you remember that Rolling Stone cover with him covering up her breast. Her sister, Reby, was like, I didn't like that. What about Reby? I thought it was kind of cool. I, I kind of like when people push the envelope. I thought it was kind of cool. Who else is going to do that? Go, Janet. I love it. I love Rebels. As long as they're not hurting nobody. But yeah, this is our girl. This is our girl. Well, after that, her and Renee ended up breaking up. And here comes Jermaine Dupree. And Jermaine, he kind of got to me a little bit. He's going to say on her documentary that um, when he was with her, the women started coming at him. He was like, and I'm a man. Isn't that a cop out? Oh, such a cop out. But before that, Janice said that he was into his work. And that was like his girlfriend. She said he would work all night. So that's kind of why. They didn't work out. She said, I heard he was cheating on me. And he was. He admitted it. You cheat on Janet Jackson. How could he cheat on? How could anybody cheat on you? How could anybody cheat on me? Why? Why, 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 why? But it happens. It happens. But I bet he <laughs> slapping himself around. I cheated on Janet Jackson. Yeah. You'll never get that chance again. They should get back together, though. I kind of like them together. I thought they were weird together. But then I it grew on me. And I, maybe he's matured now. The Velvet Rope. That was my CD. At this time, I was still married, 1997. And I kind of flip flop because I think she got with Jermaine in 2002. But 1997 is when the Velvet Rope came out. We go deep and you don't get no sleep. I thought that song was so cute. Ooh, I love We Go Deep and what is the other song on the Velvet Rope? I tried to write it down because. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, it's six to go, and you don't know what you got till it's gone. Oh, I love that song. Yes, that's the velvet rope, baby. The velvet rope. And I think, hope I'm not messing it up. I'm trying to remember where I get so lonely was at. Somewhere in there, I get so lonely. And forgive me if I'm getting the dates mixed up, but that was up in there too. But yeah, the velvet rope was spicy, sensual. I loved his red hair. I just liked it. My ex husband and I had that CD. I'll never forget it. I had to put my glasses on for this. We got to give it up for the queen. Awards? Does she have awards? Janet Jackson, this young, beautiful lady, has have sold has sold i get so excited i can't even talk over 100 million records that's insanity jackson has received 11 music american music awards five grammy awards 10 mtv video music awards 11 billboard music awards look at her different accolades award of merit 
Artist Achievement Award, Video Vanguard Award, Recording Academy's Governor Award. Oh, I'm not reading all that. It's just too much. Just it's just too much. She's received a Academy Award, Golden Globe nominations. By the way, she is in, she is inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as of 2019. She's just a bad ass. It's no. It's just I I, I can't. <laughs> I can't, can't even contain myself. That's our girl. And this is when Demita Joe came out. I don't think Demita Joe did as well as some of her other ones, but it still was good. That's the one, the song, you know that I love you. You know that I need you. You know that I want you. And I'm not singing it right, but yeah, that was Demita Joe. So that probably brings us to like oh three or so, I think. And oh my goodness, this is when this is when the wheels fall off. This is when the wheels fall off. So they're at the Super Bowl. Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson getting down. Uh, <laughs> walk away. What's the song? Oh, God, until the end of this song, song, snatch. So I'm at my God family house at the time, many years ago, and 2004, a long time, I was 20 years ago, so 18 years ago, and we we're like talking, half watching the football. You know, we're just trying to watch Janet Jacks, half watching. And I'm like, is that a nipple? So this whole fallout happened. I wonder whose idea was that to snatch this boost the air thing down and what was the what was their intentions where were they going with it it just seemed kind of distasteful and not a good idea but next thing you know her nipple is exposed to national tv and it just it just went bad um she was banned from uninvited from the grammys i don't want to say banned that's a strong word but justin goes on back he comes back to the super bowl a few years ago from now He's been back, but she's been ostracized. Now, she said in her documentary that she, Justin called her and said, do you want me to say something? And she was like, no, I don't want any drama. I so disagree with, with what she did, but I, I disagree with him. Your ass is on that stage with Janet Jackson. You snatched down the freaking bustier thingy making her nipple exposed. I don't care whose ideal it was. This lady is humiliated, banned and all ostracized and you can't say anything and then she gonna tell you don't. She would have been mad at me because I would have been like, hey, I'm, I take full responsibility as well. If two people share the stage, two people share the guilt. But see, this is why in America is so much drama. It's like, we always gotta fight and prove our point but he gets to sail into the sunset that's wrong that's 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 messed up that's wrong uh i'm assuming she's better now after all of that but it's just i just don't like stuff like that that's that's just wrong i don't care what she told him he should have jumped his butt on tv and apologized too and that's whew, let me move on because i'm about to go chicago gangster on here and i don't even want to act like that after that debacle happened she began to dive into her acting the nutty professor which she was amazing in why did i get married one and two with tyler perry which she was great in they made her look crazy in the second one however that's tyler <laughs> and for color girls which i never watch some stuff i'm if something is really depressing or dark i shy away from it i don't know just didn't appeal to me and sometimes i don't feel like being depressed but that's our girl. She got into her acting. That Taurus, the tenacious, tenaciousness of a Taurus. She did not let this fallout hold her down. Of course, it it stumbled her. It did make her pause and collect herself. But she got herself together. In the midst of all of this, she lost her beloved brother, Michael Jackson, to a propofol overdose. As we know, Michael had... Um, sleep trouble he wanted to get to sleep this nurse he asked her to do it and she told him she would not administer that drug because he may not wake up as you all know in hollywood as you all know with money 
you'll find a yes. You're going to get your yes. And this doctor did it. And he died from this when it's a cardiac arrest. His doctor ended up going to jail and lost a lot from doing that. But I just wish Michael Jackson had used that strong drug to go to sleep because those are the drugs they give us when we are going to have surgery. I know I had a drug like that before my surgeries and all I remember was counting backwards, 10, 9, 8, 7. I don't even think I got to 6 and I was gone, you know, out, not gone, from, but, you know, under, I'm under. So oh, it was a loss. I cried. I cried. But that's a loss for the world. It's a loss for the Jackson family. It was a loss for Janet. It looked like, according to her documentary, Michael's life had become very estranged from his family. You could tell they wasn't spending a lot of time together. And I was sad to see that. But that is um, what happened after the Super Bowl. Back to her love life. She ends up getting married in 2012. I know I got to put my glasses on. Some may think, why did I like this? I love you all. Guess you all say, I don't know. Let me zoom in here. Winston Amana, billionaire. Yes, he is. So he is a Qatari born retail entrepreneur who has a net worth of a billion dollars. So this man, he is busy with automotive distribution, real estate, investments, retail, food and beverage. He operates over 300 outlets. So they stayed married for four or five years. But the rumor was, she looks so cute in the middle. Go, Janet. Go, Janet. She, he was very controlling. So I never know why certain men want to marry certain women. You're never going to hold them down or control them. Janet Jackson, Megan Good. I don't know. Here I go jumping to somebody else. But it's just like, know your personnel. That's what I always say. Um, men, if you want a subdued woman, a woman that will submit. Um, some of us will. I mean, I, I'll submit to my husband, the right guy, the apple of my eye. But I am empowered. I am an entrepreneur. I do, you know, I have my own therapy practice under somebody, but I run it. Um, I'm writing a book. I've been writing a book for forever. I'm a risk taker. So I am that type of woman that I need to fly like a butterfly. Not the type that party hard. I don't stay out all night. None of that. But my essence, my aura, I know who I am now. I like to be free to do my creative side. But as a wife, I'm good with that. I, I have no trouble being a wife. Um, but I need a man that understands my creative side. Janet Jackson making good, same stuff. I don't know about the whole Devon Franklin thing. I'm not even going there. But it, the rumor was um, was some um, was controlling. Plus his culture, I'm sure. So I'm not sure why they got married. Anywho, it ended in divorce. It ended in divorce. Um, so after that, I'm kind of mixed up. Let me switch this up. This little beautiful angel named Isa came to light. This lady had a baby at the age 50, as if she wasn't bad before all of this. Look what she did. Look what they did. I got to give him his credit, too. Um, and she said, I love my new job as a mommy. Janet, the reason why I'm doing this video, that lady is so humble and so sweet and so kind and gracious. You know, you come from the Jackson family. She could be arrogant. I'm telling you, give me the 50 Reese pieces. Give me the 50 doves. Don't look at me when you talk to me. Give me white blankets everywhere. You know, all this wacky stuff you hear. I never heard a single solitary bad word about her. You know, people, they don't waste no time trashing your name. Nothing besides that nipple slip. Swedish cherry pie, humble, humble. And look at the angel, Issa. Issa has to be going on five by now because she had him five years ago, if I'm not mistaken. But what an angel, just a sweetie pie. And so um, I love this song, Made For Now. 
she did this with um daddy yankee um, so that was one of her most recent work she's been touring kicking butt dancing she's just an amazing lady i'm just inspired by her longevity her tenacity her graciousness her beauty her strength her fight for injustice i know she was helping with the flint michigan water situation um just a breath of fresh air just the type of person you want to you know look up to um this is how she looks now look at that girl i love her with the big hair she can do it and she could pull a ponytail up oh heck she just pretty let's celebrate our girl jenny look at her over the years i didn't do a good job with this but look at this this is just phenomenal Phenomenal. And last but not least, Queen never quits, never gives up, never backs down. So if you want to be like yourself, but you know, be like if you want to be someone like Janet Jackson with the strength that she has, always be true to yourself. Always stand for what you believe in. Be kind, be humble, be gracious. Well, stand up for what you believe in. Speak your mind, but do it in a classy, dignified manner. Love, love without no limits. Love with all your heart and give your all to your work. Give your all to your craft. Give your all to your fans. If you become famous like her, to your friends, to your family. Most importantly, give your all to yourself and be true. Even when people say you can't, even when people say that'll never happen, even when they say, how are you going to do that? You don't have the money. You're too old. You're too young. You're too short. You're too tall. You're too black. You're too white. You're too fat. You're too skinny. Whatever they tell you, you forge your head because queens and kings never quit. They never give up and they never back down. That's Janet Jackson to the T, the Taurus, the Jackson girl that came from Gary, Indiana the beautiful queen that she is. Hey, you all, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I, I came from the heart with this. I just wanted to share my feelings about her from what I learned from the documentary, what I knew from already from inside and just from the pictures. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, hit like, leave some comments if you're a Janet Jackson fan. I'm getting out of here. Bye.